Hi, this is Team 4997 Masquerade from Middleton High School, Tampa, Florida. So far this season, we've won a total of four qualifying tournaments as well as winning the Inspire at one of them. For community outreach, we hosted our own Build-It Day here at Middleton to help FTC robots build their bots. Uh, we also went out to various middle schools and FLL tournaments to display our robot and give them a feel for the game. We also volunteer at many uh, competitions across the state. Uh, and finally, we hosted our own competition right here at Middleton, Middleton Madness. Our first robot was a stacking robot and was quite successful. We were able to win several tournaments with the design. But we did notice that it had some flaws. For one, the ball collection system was slow, inefficient, hard to line up, and also needed a ball already at the top in order to work. Also, we stacked externally, which meant that it was really easy to defend against, and also it was hard to line up in order to actually grab the crate and align it with the crate that we were trying to stack onto. We've built our next robot from the ground up to primarily be a stacker and lifter. Our crate manipulators consist of two wheels, and these two wheels not only allow us to grab the crates, but flip it in a matter of seconds. We've edited our collection system so that we can collect the balls without storing them, allowing it to be much faster. Our, our new elevator consists of seven tiers that allows us to reach level 12 with holding multiple crates. And within Endgame, we are able to pick up the bowling ball, drive up the ramp, and also drop the bowling ball into the hole in the Endgame's 30 seconds along with lifting. In Autonomous, we are able to pick up a stack of crates. This allows, it, this allows us to have two crates available to us at the start of Teleop, making it very hard to defend us. This is my second year robotics. Um, we use PTC um, to design both our robots. As you see here, we have um, our second robot, which we named the Beast, because of the pure weight of it. Um, we have the Lexon, Lexan put in brown because it's clear, so we want to actually see it. PTC actually allows us to see what the robot will look like in 3D, so we have a better um, feel of what it might look like. Here we have the robot in a fully extended lift position. The robot can go all the way up to the 12 point level because of the extra tiers we've added over the few weeks. What you'll see here, we'll have an iPad at the pit, so just come on by.